Night City, welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there, welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Your sister, I said hi. Of course. If I ever see her again. The new job's been tough on her lately. Okay, but it's, I really need to see this. You know, Martha ate here and got hepatitis. He's selling threads or collecting them. It's hard to tell at a glance. I can Back on the street, they tell you to get a job, you get a job, they make fun of you. Make up your damn minds, people! I'd like to use your services. What are you selling? Anything you can see. Get a beer here? Lothbrock, maybe? Sorry, boss. No beer here. What do you got? Maybe something apricot flavor? Some people say this gives them hiccups, but they lie. 
I never had. You freeze up a lot. One second, boss. Brad? Hey, Brad! Listen, boss, you help me out? Kids on the block been up my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. All right, follow me. You lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback. Fuck you one! This ain't none of your biz! You another corporal rat? Relax. Don't got any beef with you. For now. What happened? A new pal here talked his sister into taking a job at Cedar Tech. Bitch just leaves and doesn't even say bye. We've been running these streets ever since we were kids. Hacking street vending machines, fucking up corpos. It's what we live for. And what? Now she's too good for us? Double-crossing cunt! You listen to yourselves? And how stealing from poor folk like me gonna make things better? Shana's a grown-ass woman now. You should follow her example. You getting back a corpse by stealing from a street vendor? Says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him. Or you'll do what? I could break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking traitor, and you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that... Yo, that's the dude everyone been talking about. When they came back from the dead. You know how many gunks he's off already? And I ain't even talking solo. Shit, he following us? their damn minds. Thanks, boss. Thought I'd teach him. Just between the two of us, you're really proud your sisters joined the Zeta Tech fold? Look, I know what you're thinking. Corps are exploiting us. They're turning us into slaves. That's what people say, you know? Well, guess what? They never have to worry about putting food on table. Me and Shana take whatever we can get. She's probably running on neuro stems. Not worried? Hey, you can't have it all. And even if we did, nobody get off their ass and do anything. Well, when you put it that way, now that that's over, you okay? Who, me? Couldn't be better. All talk and no action. <laughs> Maybe they should go get a job. <sighs> Fucking parasites. Well, at least Shana can focus on her job now. No one in the family ever got as high up as her. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. Will do, boss. Thanks. Looking for a pick-me-up. Got any Crow Manticore? Boy, do I, Chief. What don't I have? Would have touched that stuff myself, but hey, hey, customer is king, am I right? got in stock? Nice variety? Anything worth looking at? I have... things. Let's just finish this, okay? It's this. What have you got in stock? Iron of every caliber. Feast your eyes.
didn't say you did. Who would Tigers come around here? Y'all ain't nowhere to be found. Shut your mouth, you little shit. Whoa! Look at you! The big bad police! Saving the damn world! One fucking pedestrian at a time! Yo, shut the fuck up! Better listen to your friend. Better listen to your friend. No, I see how it is. You just hate us, don't you? That's what this is. Watch it! Remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Wanna see what was shaking? Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. <laughs> you too. I lost someone close to me too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? about Andrew. He, uh, told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. I'm guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <sighs> Typical. 
Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, Kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. Well, you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. The whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Mendez is right, you gotta toughen up. Tell the world to go fuck itself. Right. So I'm just supposed to forget everything I've seen. A kid. Even Andrew. He's gone and you're here. It's time to stop living in the past. You won't change anything by sitting here alone, wallowing in misery. I think we're done here. Suit yourself.
I deserve that. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. No, you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in this lifetime.
to get his shit together. Well, cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Barry's in great shape. So much so, in fact, that prefer to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle Bad's life too well. He made fun of him. So he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was... a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. You want proof? Niche in the columbarium speaks for itself. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. I just think Mendez would react if Barry admitted that he was talking to animals. Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble.
54 News, and this is your local link. The NCPD has... I already told you, you ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day, that little kid's t-shirt, green with this funny yellow cat. Oh, no. Soy is still my